Good morning guys, Sarah here, Life Changes by Sarah. And uh, today I actually took notes. You're gonna might see me glancing down. That's what I'm doing because um, I don't want to miss anything on this topic. It's something that, um, as I stated, I have a confession. I'll get to that in the end. But it's something that I found, and I'm going to start to practice what I preach. Um, I started slacking a little bit, but I'll get into that. But I want to dig into. Uh, some steps that I'm going to start taking or that I'm going to start retaking um, because at one point in my life not so long ago I was really good at this stuff and somehow life just got a hold of me and um, stuff is not going the way I want it to so everybody knows what they need to eat the hard part is actually following through and doing that and that goes with anything it's always the follow-through that I sure as heck don't do the right way like you know they always say people half-ass things um, queen of it you need to know how to half-ass something I can probably give you a good idea um, when I don't focus I fail and so I'm putting I put this together to help you guys um, take these steps so, uh, the first one is, you know, basically we need meat, fish, eggs, vegetables, fruits, and nuts in our meals every day. Some people are vegan and vegetarian, and I totally understand that. It doesn't work for me. I need the iron because at one point I was a little anemic, um, and rather than take a pill or take even more supplements, um, I'll just get it from what Mother Nature provides. That's my opinion. You guys don't have to believe it. You don't have to follow it. That's just what I'm going to do. Um, I haven't had drive through food like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's since I quit drinking. Um, that stuff is wicked bad for you even if it comes from their healthy menu. There's nothing healthier than making it in your own kitchen and meal prepping it and getting it ready to go for you so that you know what's in that dish and you know what you put in it, you know how much you put in it, and you know that that's there for you. Um, so first one, first tip is to eat a better, healthier life. Get out of the drive-thru. It's not doing anything for you. Um, and the second one, and this is the hard one for me, is mental preparation. I failed at this miserably this summer. Um, I thought I knew what I was doing, and I thought I knew how I was going to train for this half marathon that I have next week, and I failed. Like... Just I can't even sum it up into so many words is I thought I was eating the right things and then the next thing I know is at the creamy down the street getting a peanut butter fudge Sunday like totally defeats the purpose of all my hard work. Um, so it played a huge mental game on me this summer and I am my plan is to simply get through this week clean it up as best as I can. And thank God that Clean Week, the new um, eating, nutrition, and exercise program came out today is day one. Um, so I d already just did that workout. And for some reason, after I work out, I get really cold. So I went and threw this um, sweatshirt thing on. Um, but the total mental game, I was off and I need to refocus. And I'm connecting with some great people this week and that is my goal is to refocus and do it right this time. Um, so I may not do a PR at the race, but I will finish. I will restart my life. Um, you know, I will start making small changes today, and after that race, it is all in. Um, let's see, ooh, sorry, I had my alarm clock set and I'm already up. Um, you guys are gonna see some amazing things happen for me, so I hope you guys will follow me and share this so that other people can join in as well. Um, another one is to commit to those changes. So I know what I need to eat. I know what workouts I need to do and committing is how I need to get it done. I will have groups going all month long um, and next month and the month after that. I'm not going anywhere. I need this. This is what works for me and I'm more than happy to share it with all of you. Um, and the hardest thing for me is to see all that food and think that that's enough um, or that it's too much. Sometimes I can't eat. Like if I do my portion control out for the meal, there's a lot of times that I can't eat the whole thing. Um, but what I did learn over this past summer when I was screwing off was that I 
uh, need to eat all that stuff that's in front of me and then I won't crave that creamy down the street. I won't crave the ice cream at my mom's house. I won't crave the ice cream at the beach. Uh, can you tell ice cream is my downfall? Like love it. Um, so the best plan that works for me is to simply um, follow what I teach in my VIPs and what I share in my VIP group and that is to exercise, to meal plan, to find recipes that will work for me and Jay, um, to eat those and to exercise daily again and to have the accountability. And whether that accountability comes in a group or whether it comes to my post on Facebook, um, I'm holding myself accountable. If I don't check in, I want you guys to call me out. I want to know that you guys are here, that you guys are following me, and if you guys need help and you need that extra push, all you have to do is ask. Um, not everything comes with a fee. I do have many things available for free. Um, you know, you do get more time and attention if you do my paid group, but it's not necessary. The things that I teach in the smaller group, smaller free groups will help get you started, and I'm a big, big fan of starting small and working to a bigger thing. Um, so that is my spiel on that. And now I want, I got to tell you guys my secret and I'm ashamed. I am so upset with myself and I can't believe that I let it come to this. Um, but all my oopses over the summer did not do this body good. Um, I am up a lot of weight. I have a lot to lose. Um, I want to say Last time I weighed myself, which was a couple days ago, I never really weigh, I more measure, but I just jumped on to see what I got, um, and I saw that number on the scale, and I was like, oh, oh girl, you are going to kick your own butt this winter. Um, I would say I need to lose about 30 pounds all over again, and that is what I lost when I first joined this amazing company, so I know it can be done, and I know it can, I can do it again. Um, so that is what I will be working for and I hope you guys will join me and create your journey next. So that said, have a great Tuesday and as always, subscribe to the blog so that we can uh, stay in touch and you guys can keep following me and I can follow you. Thanks guys.